Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Shaniva Early, your craft doctor. And I'm here with a haul video um, that I did from my local scrapbooking store. Um, I actually got in a order from um, Art Impressions. And I placed an online order for the new lawn fun. Um... And then I bought some other stuff. So this was the first part is the actual order from online that I'm going to do first. Okay, so this is the new scrapbooking today magazine. Um, we got this free with our order. Um, Okay. I need to make sure I have everything in my order because I think I ordered something doubled. Oh, maybe I didn't. Okay, so this is what I ordered. I'll just go by and I'm going to check. the This one right here is from the Where You Been... Um, collection and it's uh peppermint so i got the stamp and they had the add-on dye to go with it and so if you remember there's a little mason jar and you build put this inside the mason jar and build around it so this is the way you being and if i'm not mistaken you can use these little fonts for another I want to say it's like the reveal wheel or something. You can use these sentiments for. I have to check, but I think that's what it's. You can use them. And then this is the die. Okay. And then we had the, um, <clears throat> the magic iris leaves. And we had this. This is the magic iris leaves. And this is the reveal wheel, um, this works on the magic iris, which is like the reveal wheel type of thing. It's called the magic iris, but that's what the same thing is. That's this. And then we had the magic iris snowflake die. And that's what I need to check on because they charged me twice for that. And I only had one. Um, I'll call them tomorrow about that. Okay. Then we got a, a free gift. And then we had the Tiny Winter Friends. That is this one. And this one is the die to cut out all the friends. Then I had the winter window frame die. This is the window frame die. And I need to see if this matches with the um, windows to the world. Let me see. It might be a little bit. Oh, it's just a little bit. Oh, it might work. Okay. And I'll tell you about that in a minute. Okay. So then we have the little couch that, um, the window scene that goes with that. Okay. So there we go. So that's what I ordered. And then when I went into the store, I realized there was another piece to this set, to this, and it's the rest of that scene. Um, so I bought that, and that's to cut out the couch, the pillow, and then another frame, a different type of frame. So you have, when you get this piece, you can have it as if you're looking out and or looking in if you add like a santa a tree and all that kind of stuff you can make it look like you're looking in the window and put the couch behind it so these three go together and there's one more that actually has tree a christmas tree and such but i don't want i didn't want to buy that i just wanted to keep it kind of more neutral so that's this set then i bought this which is another one. Um, this is the Say What. And it's like little masks. It's so cute. I want to say this goes to Reveal Will too. Or the Magic Iris. 
but it's it's like a little kitty um the kitty the bunny and the frog with mask on you that's super cute and it says you are essential to me sending air hugs thank you so much i can't mask my love for you and sending smiles with my eyes and i got this one because it says i can't mask my love for you i thought that was the cutest little saying so i got that and it came with a die to cut out the kitties and the words so the words go in there Okay, so then I purchased these. And the only reason why I purchased these is because I can't find them. My husband lost my big scissors and he um, he used them for something and he didn't, I can't find them. And so I bought, I got these, but then of course they're black and my other ones are red. So um, I got a set of these. Plus I use these small ones in my sewing room. So I don't want to bring them and cut paper with them again since I use them with for ribbon and stuff. So I got those. Then I got this little thing here. I, I have one of these attached to the board um, for, you know, the Crafts Companion board, but I didn't have one separately. This is to make ribbons, bowls. So this is to make bowls with. And so I need to practice on how to make a bow with this. Um, and it gives you instructions on how to do it. But I need to practice. But I got that. I thought that was cute. It was only $7 and some change. Then I got these by accident. <laughs> I wanted to ask them about this. Um, and then I did. I forgot. And she rung them up. But these are conditioning stamp conditioning erasers. And I'll show you what they do in a minute. Now I'm going to take one out of the pack. So, you know, the stamps have that film or whatever on them. Um, also, I got some dome-shaped um, foam brushes because I have the square. And there's, they say that when you use the domes that you don't um, have uh, when you're doing your... Um, ink blending it don't have that harsh line so i'm going to try those and if it works i'll be switching over to these instead of the flat ones and then last but not least i am super in love with the julie nutting dial sets so i got three more to go in my collection i got this one super cute i got that one loving it and i got this one so I got those three. And so what I wanted to show you is what you do with the little eraser. Um, you take... Uh, oh, it's so hard to get this stuff out of the packs. So what you do is you take your actual, the little eraser, and that filmy thing, you just take this across here. right take that across there and get that all that extra filmy stuff off okay and then you clean off your die I mean your stamp not die clean off your stamp and then this stamp should stamp better than it would have if I had not cleaned it off so let's see if it makes a difference okay I'm just gonna take a piece of paper and let's stamp. Make sure that inky stuff is off. Oh, I can tell this is hearing wonderful. I can you can see how wonderful that stamped on there or you, it the ink got on there. So I'm just pressing on and of course I'm gonna write off the camera because I don't have it wide. Okay. Oh my god, look how gorgeous clear that stamped there you go focus look how nice that stamped just by using this a little eraser thing and it's by Altenew and it's three in a pack and I will be using these from now on 
when I'm getting ready to stamp, because you see how clear that came out of this stamp. I'm not saying it wouldn't have worked by itself, but let's just put it to the test. I'm going to take this and I'm going to do the same thing right here. I'm going to put this ink. You see how I'm tapping it? Same way I did the first one. And then I'm going to press and hold it just like I did the first one. Oh, yeah. You can see the difference. Um, if you look at this one, it looks a little bit spotty. See those spaces? It's spotty. When this one is crisp. If you can, if you can see that. Sometimes this camera don't focus. There we go. So see, you can see the spottiness in it that I didn't. And I, you seen me put the ink on there. So, yes to the dress. <laughs> yes, 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 y'all. This is a winner. So, I will be using these little erasers that I bought by accident. Um, and I just really want to say today, I had a fabulous day at the crafts uh, store. I met a wonderful lady there. Um, we got to talk and it was just really a pleasure to kind of get out because you know I really don't go out um, unless I have to. And it was really wonderful going into the store. Um, and we were just talking about all kinds of stuff. And she actually subscribed and I, I don't want to mess up her name but I want to say it was Julie but I know that's wrong. <laughs> Y'all know I'm bad with names. It's horrible. It's horrible, 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 but um, I just want to say it was wonderful talking to you in the store today. I love doing this stuff, and just talking to people who love it, too, just makes me feel wonderful. Okay, so this was this part of what I got today. Spending money, as usual, y'all, always. My husband is going to get me one day and be like, no more. Okay, and then I did a art impressions um, order. So I have a lot of art impression stuff, and I only started getting art impression stuff when I went to the Mega Meet, um, Great Lakes Mega Meet. And it's like the traveling, traveling craft show, which is going to be in Michigan on the 7th through the 9th of October. And so I took a class, and I fell in love with art impressions, even though I don't do as much with them. But um, this is the exclusive 2021 stamp. It's a pillar, right? So when you take their classes, you get the exclusive stamp. But since they're not doing them right now, um, you can order this stamp, the exclusive, right? Okay, and so that's what I did. And then I got the Windows to the World collection stamp. This one is um, the presents. It's the birthday. This is a little freebie. You can tell them which freebie you want because they send you a freebie every year. There's a freebie. And this year I got the chicken. And it's funny because this is one of the only freebies that I don't have. I want to say it's like three total that I don't have. And this is one of them. It might be more than that now because I haven't placed an order in a long time. But I was like, I want the chicken because I knew I didn't have it. And this is 2021's freebie. Okay. And so then th this is another window to the world. And what happens is this fits the shadow box die. There's a shadow box die that this goes to. Um, and a window to the world, you cut this out and make it look like you're looking out your window, the window to the world. <laughs> um, but there's a shadow box, and I have uh, several of the windows to the world. It's, it's crazy because I have a lot of their stuff, but I keep it all separately. But this is uh, the 3D frame die, and it fits into with the windows to the world and all the writing. Um, when you put it in the frames it makes it look like a small um it makes it look like a small framed picture when you do it um and the crazy part about me doing picking these up i i have a lot of them as you can probably tell i have a bunch of different scenes or windows to the world that you can that i can do but i like to be up on the newest 2021s but here's one that i did 
love it and then it fits in this frame what i didn't do was buy the window <laughs> i forgot to get the shadow box window die i don't know if i didn't get it or if it's out of stock i don't remember so i'm gonna have to go back and look but I got these. Um, this one, what is this one? This one is floating. Why are you floating? Oh, it, this one, it, this is it. So this is it, the window to the world. And then you cut out the window and have a little painting. So that's this one and the present and the little farmhouse. And this one has the little mailbox to it and that little extra mailbox. Okay, then I got this one which is the 22 um, exclusive floral, floral, um, it's like, a, it's exclusive for 2021 and you won't get it just like the other one, these two, these are the things that they make and these flower pots and stuff. And um, the lady who owns the company, who is Bonnie Krebs, um, demonstrate how to use this. And then this is the columns with the, house and it has all the stamps to it so to make the scenes and instructions on how to make it and um and you go on her youtube channel and you can get and find out how to do this so all of this fits well, i hope these new ones fit in here because i have my if you see that colors that i use and those colors are specific to her show that she does and of course, it's not going to fit. I'm going to have to get a new container. <laughs> no. No. So I'm going to have to get a new container for this um, because these are not going to fit with the pens. Because I try to keep pens separately from others. Because I have a case of these pens. What are these called? Tombow markers. I have a case of all of these colors. But I like to keep them in here by themselves with this group of supplies. So what I'll do is I will just go buy a little bit taller one of these cases so this will all fit. So that's the next thing. So what next came in, and I'm just going to set this over here and get it out of my way, or if not, it will end up um, lost. But I just cleaned up my craft room. Next, I got in from HSN, A Year of Crafts. I love this little series. You can't really tell I love this series because I haven't really done much with it. But when I break it out, I'll do a whole little series. Let's back you up. I'll do a whole little series on the year of crafts and I'll do like a project every day like I did with the other series that I did. Um, companions. But let's see what's in here. We'll say the book for last. Um... So we get some nice color twine, baker's twine, three colors. Probably it's not that much, but it's it'll be useful. Then what I really want y'all to see, you have to see, and I'm going to open this up because this has to be the most beautiful poinsettia, a beautiful poinsettia, if I'm saying that. That's how I pronounce it. People say poinsettia, I say poinsettia. But look at that. Look at those leaves. That will be beautiful colored. Look at that bell. Beautiful colored. And it will take up a significant portion of your um, page. Okay. Then we have vellum sheets. Vellum sheets. We have a whole lot of words, um, which is one thing that I like about this because this is goes for everybody in your family. It even has fiance. Really? Never seen anything like that. I love that. It has everything. The different way that you say father, mother. Um, it has brother, in-laws, nieces. Love it. Then they have my arch nemesis. These little template things. Y'all know I hate these little things. Why didn't you just give me a die? Now I have to cut this out. You could also take this, and I've been told, let's check it out and see if it works, that you can take this template. All it would have took you was to do another little die. You know we'd have paid for it. They say that you could take this template, this thing here, pop it in your cutting machine, and it'll make an impression 
and it'll make an impression and it'll make it easier to trace out. Let's see if this is true. So I'm just putting this my uh what do you call this my machine impression and in, the in, uh, impress machine is right here. Let's see if it works. It might not have enough pressure to do it. Oh, yeah, it did. Y'all might not be able to see this. I just still think they should just give us a die. Stop playing. Can you see it? This outline here? Y'all yeah, probably can't see it, but I can. Very faintly. So if I had more pressure... I probably could do that because I'm looking at it really close up. Oh, there you go. You can see it right there. I made an impression. So then all you have to do is cut around, which that's helpful, but it'll be easy if you just make this a die. And then I'm going to have to be going through all the struggles. Y'all know I can't stand when they do that because why do you do that? Um, I think the templates now come in, um, now come in, uh, downloads so then you can print them out and put them in your cutting machine i think that's how they are now i don't know i have to check okay then we have the car this this plastic is so glary i'm sorry y'all it's so glary see y'all can't see the stuff for the glare okay so then we have the car front and then you put the christmas tree across it you make a little scene. So, like, I could take my windows to the world and make that little scene. And same with the presents. How come it look like that other thing? You know what? I'm about to go on another um, no spend time and only get my auto ships because all this stuff is starting to be duplicates of stuff that I got from other companies years ago. We're going to do a versus. Look at this. This little thing makes a snow globe. You just put a uh, a die that's bigger um, and make a, a, a snow globe. And this is the bottom piece of the snow globe. Um, I could do that if you want me to. Just let me know if you want it. Um, then this is a wreath die set. You see that? You gave me a die. This is a wreath. But I would have rather for you to give me a dot of this. Because I could have made a card out of this right here. Kept this and gave me that in a die. I'm just saying. Come on, Crafts Companion. Work with me. Okay, of course, our standard ribbons. Our card bases. 4x6, 6x6, 5x7. With the envelopes that we normally get. We love it. Wait a minute. Where my pearls at? Did I miss the pearls? Oh, the pearls came in the original kit, so we didn't get no extra pearls. Then they have these little things here. You know what? I never really use these little things here, but what you can do with these right here um, to help you along the way, like this is pretty decent. This little thing here. Y'all know I'm reaching for my what do you think? Copic markers that's in front of me. But go ahead and use your color mediums, whatever they may be, and color these in so you can use it on whatever you're doing, your project, right? So then now. I have a I have a die cut. Put that back up. Get it a little bit dry. Now I have a die cut that's already pretty much colored. See that? It's pretty much colored. Let's let me get my little red and finish it off and so you could do that with anything so if you do this beforehand color it in color it in beforehand 
then you're not trying to color in that little spot or whatever. And there you go. It's colored in before you use it. And then all you got to do is stick it on your card base. So use these little things so I can stamp um, I and then love and then you because we have so many stamps that have sentiments that I'm sure I can find one that say something like that or um, love and then stamp mama from the stamp set or to my love something like that anything or do this Christmas in here stamp Mary and then put the die cut Christmas voila something you can something easy to do okay and then we have the paper pack let's do the, the this paper first Crafters Companion has wonderful paper. I have so much of this 8x8 paper. That's why I'm about to go on a no spin high ace. I just got too much stuff. Don't forget to look at my um, Sunday 6 to 7.30 post for my small groups. They're back. Um, and for anybody who would like to join my small group, you should go to Love Life Family CC, I think, .org. And sign up for my small group for people who do not live in the state of Michigan or near live near me. Um, I do send the kits to you, but they're not free because of shipping. I have to charge shipping for the kits that I make for my small group classes. People who are here actually get them for free because I have to ship them nowhere. Okay, so... Um, we get two of each sheets of the papers. Leaves, wood grain. Okay, so this is what I did. Let me tell you, I seen this wood grain and I was like, I love this wood grain paper. So you can make this look like a floor and put this like this. And now it looks like this is the wall and this is the floor. And then decorate and build a scene like we use for Anna Griffin stuff. And put the chair and all that stuff. Them old kits. Bring it back and do stuff like that. Look just like my um, dad's, uh, his man cave with the wood floor and this. And so, you know, I went on Etsy and bought a wood floor digital kit. Look at that. And it had grays in it like this look at this so cute look at the plaid this will be this look remind me y'all and don't play with me answer me honestly don't everybody have these pajamas don't play with me don't every year somebody have these pajamas so guess what every year at christmas my family dresses up for christmas eve what do we dress up in <laughs> Those pajamas. Look, I'm trying to be quick, but of course, I'm not going to find them quick enough. Of course, I can't find them. I'm right. It's funny because I'm right at my closet where my clothes are. And of course I can't find those pajamas that I just told my husband, don't wear my pajamas no more because you'll get them, um, you'll wear them out for Christmas, before Christmas. Ah, of course I can't find them. But I have those plaid pajamas in my closet. Where are you pajamas? <laughs> now watch, as soon as this video is over, ah ha ha. What's that? <laughs> That's those plaid pajama pants. <laughs> those plaid pajama pants. We all have these. Plaid pajama pants. So it's so funny. <clears throat> My new grandbaby Parker, before she was born, we went to the store at Christmas time. Why did they have these in baby? So even the new baby has a pair. <laughs> Look at this. So cute. Y'all know I get off subject so quickly. Then we have the snowflakes in red. We have this color of, I don't know, background. 
This is not my favorite. I love the stars, but they mimic polka dots, but they're really stars. They're like stars. Cute snowflakes. Wallpaper. Ooh, don't like that one. And stars in the blue. Okay, and then we have the colored card stock. And the good thing about this is all of these colors match and go with this set. So, because sometimes the colors don't be, they don't match. But look at that. Even that teal will go with this right here. So, it matches. I love that. Even the brown matches the floor. Super cute. Okay. So, that is the Year of Craft. Uh, the box part and then we know with we, there's a book there's a book that go with um, this part with the year of France <clears throat> so let's flip through the book and then the book goes in the binder and so this is book the book and then this is issue number four. And we only have two more left in this um, in this issue. The Year of Crafts, which will probably be, be this is what, September. We'll probably get one in October because I think this one was late. And then probably December. I don't really know when those auto ships are. But this is the Year of Crafts book. And I'll give you a quick look at it. And then I'll put it in my book. Okay, so we have the little car scene with the gifts. Didn't think of that. So you can stamp this, cut it out, and then pop up your car after you stamp and cut it out. I wonder, did it, can you cut it out? If not, stamp it and put it in your, um, because they didn't have die cuts, but you can use your scanning cut for that. Look like they... They actually, um, on this, you can't, you may not be able to tell, but look like they mask this because there's a gray around it. That's not a die cut. That's gray Copic or not Copic for them, um, Spectrum Noir. So they did a lot of masking in this um, set. Remember I told you you could make the snow globe? There we go. Snow globe. Okay, so this is all the stuff that you get in this, that little reef. I love that little bow, though. See, somebody cut that out, and I'm sure they probably made a card. They made this to stick a candy cane in, so they cut it out twice and did it out of two sheets of paper. Okay, mm, they stamped this on a candle. Super cute. They made a little treat box. No, that's a lantern. This one, tree decoration. Look at that. That is super cute. And see, dad. They stamped it with that stamp set. Then they made the pop-up box and decorated it. I love these little towels of treats. I love making those. People love these too. These Godiva. I don't know what these are. They're Godiva chocolates, I think. But they love these little boxes. Cute. Um, present to take somebody's house, unexpected gift type of stuff. Look at the little scene in there. Cute. But look at, these are so cute. I love this. Um, I have a, um, dye that's a coffee cup by, I want to say it may be a lawn fawn or something. I'm not really sure, but I do have that, but with the sleeve and everything, but you take this and you can blow it up, or you may even be able to download it. I don't know how um, uh, you can download it, but I know you can, because they say you can download the stuff. Okay, and then this is the masking stuff. That's what I was saying. This was mask. Um, so what you do, the, you want the one that's, I think, the furthest away first. And so you would stamp the back stamp, because that's furthest away, and then mask it. 
and stamp the front one. Um, I think that's how that work. Or do you stamp the first one? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. If you want the, the truck to be in the front, you stamp the truck first. Then you mask the truck. And then you stamp the back one. And then the, the truck, since it was first, it'll be in the front. That's how you do that. This one looks like it was cut out. They probably fussy cut that um, out. Yep, see, there you go. You do the truck first. You, you mask it off. And then do the other one and color it in. That's how you do it. Look at those. Super cute. Gorgeous. They did a lot of, it's called Marvelous Masking in this part. Cute, cute, cute. Loving it. This, I love this little thing here, but I wouldn't just do it for one month. Um, what you do is you, you're using all the numbers anyway. You make these interchangeable so you put like, um, not glue but like Velcro on the back. And then you can change the signs. You build it all. And then like you don't have to necessarily put Christmas paper on it or put something that's not Christmas paper on it and then build it. Um, and then change out your decorations. Super cute. So then you can extend the use of it. Okay. Super cute to my daughter. Our little snowman. And then they masked it. And then they um, used a blender to go around it. And to keep the little snowman from being colored. Look at this. Just beautiful. Another masking technique. Using the dye to make a wreath or separate. And then the people who've done stuff and sent them in. Very beautiful. So that is the year of crafts. And so I'm going to pop this in my book. So I don't lose it and can't find it. I'm trying to figure out what do I take with me to the Mega Me. Because since I have so much stuff I can work on. Um... I don't know what to take with me. I don't know. I'm thinking taking all heartfelt and all lawn fawn because I'm taking heartfelt classes when I get there. I just dropped my water on the floor. Okay, so that was our haul for this evening. And thank you so much for joining me and dealing with my shenanigans, looking for my pajamas. But I'm telling you, everybody have them. So, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you in the next one.